Hey everyone, welcome to this, another Dreamweaver tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do rollover images. It's really easy to do and gives a great effect on menu bars, buttons, etc. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to create a folder called website. So I've already created it. So if we go ahead and we open this up, you'll see I've created two images. I've got the original image and the uh, over image. You can call these whatever you want. This is the first image and the image that you want to appear after you roll over. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to minimize this. We're going to come back to that later. Now we're going to go and we're going to open up Dreamweaver. We're going to wait for it to load. Apologies for this computer tutorial being a bit slow. My computer is a bit slow at the moment. Uh, anyway, once Dreamweaver is open, we want to create a new HTML document and the code will appear. We want to go onto the design section. Now we want to go to the top, we want to press insert and we want to go to image object and roll over image. A new dialog box will appear. We can call this button, whatever you want to call it, you can call it. Now we're going to go browse on the original image, we're going to go to a desktop and we're going to go to our website folder, the folder where we've got both our images. We can make them extra large icons so we can see them more clearly, see what we're working with. The preview will appear here as well, so don't worry about that. So we've got our original image, um, and now we want to go to a rollover image, press browse, and that's the image that we want to appear when we roll over. So press OK, and now we can ignore the alternative text, or we can add it if we want. Now, we can either add a link to a website here, or we can simply add a hash if we don't want it to go anywhere when you click on it. Once you're happy with that, press OK, and this should appear. Uh, press File, Save, Save As, and we're going to save it into the same folder as the website. We're going to save it as index, but you can save it as whatever you want. And go ahead and we're going to save it. We're going to go back to the website folder now, and a new document has appeared. We're going to open with our Internet Browser, so in this case Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer will go and it will open up. We're going to allow the blocked content, and now you should see when you roll over, you see the new image. And that's how simple it is in Adobe Dreamweaver. Thanks for watching this video tutorial guys, I hope you found it useful. Please don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and of course subscribe for more tutorials coming up soon. Bye for now.